Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Girl Boss Beauty community. I am Stacey Elaine and I am very happy that you are joining me today for a what's in my handbag video. I have never done one of these videos ever, 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 but this is my no buy year. I'm not buying any handbags this year except for allowing myself to buy one handbag for my birthday cash. My birthday is about mid-year, so that means for the first six months, you will not see any purchases of handbags, but I will show you um, what I'm thinking of the handbags that I have in my collection because I feel like without adding new ones I'm gonna be able to really see what I think about them. So I'm gonna start off this um, year reviewing handbags with the handbag that you guys have requested a video over and this is the Louis Vuitton Crosset. It is in the Damier Azure print which is this kind of gray and white um, print checkered print from Louis Vuitton I bought this bag in late December when I was becoming debt free because I know that Louis Vuitton increases prices every year and I did not want to wait until this year to get the bag and then the price goes up I was totally smitten in love and lusted after this bag the very first time that I saw it, which was in the beginning of the year. But I went with the Louis Vuitton favorite as my first Louis Vuitton handbag of 2018 and ever. I'd never bought a Louis Vuitton before. But I went with the favorite because it actually, I thought, fit more items than the Crosset. So I started using the favorite. I bought the Clooney MM. I bought a toiletry pouch I use as a clutch, which is right here. I bought all of these and I still wanted this bag. And at this time now, I had bought a Damier Ebene, my favorite. I had bought the Monogram, the Clooney, and I definitely thought that my favorite color scheme is gray and white. I was doing myself a disservice by not buying an Azure bag. So I will tell you that I love the bag. I will tell you that if it was a little, just a smidge bigger and had a pocket on the back, because it does not, it would be my favorite handbag of all time. But... um as it is now, it's still a great love of my life. <laughs> I never really liked handbags, but now um, the luxury handbag snake has bitten me. And once it bites you, what I've learned is you can't get rid of it. Um, I don't think that I will go back to not wanting luxury handbags, unfortunately. But for this year, I will not be purchasing any except for maybe one. So with that being said, I will show you what fits in the Crosset. Um, and if you want to see a comparison compared to the Clooney or the Favorite, just leave a comment below. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So it opens with the lock here. You just press the left one or the right one in and it flaps open. See, it has this beautiful pink lining. I'm not really a baby pink girl, um, to be honest. I'm more into bold colors. But I do think that this pink works well with the color scheme of the handbag. So, currently, the bag is completely filled. The only item that would be in this bag that's not in here now is my cell phone, my personal cell phone, because I'm using it to record this video, and it is a Samsung. Samsung S Galaxy. So other than that, which that would fit right here, um, everything else is in here and I would not even imagine putting anything else in this bag. So let me show you what I typically can get to fit in this bag. Okay, you guys, so this is the Crosset. This is, it is fully stuffed. Actually, real talk, 
this is like three hours after I filmed the intro because I ended up going to the outlets with my boyfriend. So um, we are now back and I will show you. Of course, I showed when I purchased this bag that I also purchased this um, Twilly to go on it. I like to keep my handles wrapped because I do not like how the um, the nasty Vachetta looks. I, that's just me. But this is the bag. It is fully stuffed. The only thing that's not in here is the cell phone that I'm using to record this video. So I will show you. This is my work phone that I keep in the back slip pocket. The only pocket in the entire thing. Hand cream, I like Olu Harrison, um, hydrating hand cream. Floss. Tissues. This is a very big mirror um, by Clinique that I got with a gift with purchase. Hand sanitizer. My work badge. I did carry this back in the office for a few days. My Samsung earbuds. Nivea lotion. The charger to my uh, Samsung earbuds. A card holder. Uh, this keeps my gift cards. I got this from Sephora. Another card holder that keeps my debit cards. I got this from eBay about 15 years ago and it has my name and then it says my favorite saying of all time, which is the best is yet to come. A um, business card holder. These are keys that go to my desk and my laptop. Um, to secure them in the office. Panty liner, cause I'm a girl. The Yves Saint Laurent Volupte de Tint in Oil um, Lip Gloss. And the Christian Dior, um, Dior Attic Lip Gloss in the shade Mirrored. So this is all, and I have a receipt. This is all that fits in this bag. And I, I'm telling you, oh, and my keys. Hold on, let me get my keys. Okay, and then this is my Prada key holder. I will do a new updated video on this piece, but I used to carry a pink one in Safiano leather. Now I carry the gray with gold hardware in the soft leather. So I'll show you how I fit all of this in this bag, but I would not carry more than this. Um, the cell phone, like I said, it goes in the slip pocket. Then I go with essentials, which are these small leather goods. If you are getting this bag, I highly recommend SLGs. I need a mirror because I'm that girl. I will need my keys. And I just stand those up over there. My tissues also are going to get stood up. The hand cream will go in and get stood up. My um, earbuds also can be stood up. Everything has to be slim. So you can see it's very easy. Once you learn how to pack it, work badge, hand sanitizer, <laughs> panty liner, get stuffed in the front. I stand these up or lay them flat. The keys and the cord, because I never want to not be able to charge my earbuds if they go out and someone's annoying me. So, that's how I fit everything in this bag. This is what I have been carrying 
this is what's in my bag. If I ever change out drastically what I am carrying in this bag, I will show you guys as well. I will say that this is the first day that I actually carried this bag in the rain. And I was so scared that this Vachetta strap was going to get raindrops on it. I left it in the car. I kid you not. And I walked around the outlets with it um, just as a top handle bag, which again, it, I had no problem because my handle is wrapped and this canvas is so easy um, to care for. So I, I really, oh, I just noticed I still have the plastic on this piece. And until it looks really bad, I'm going to keep it on there to avoid scratches. So this is what's in my bag. Let me know if you have any questions or if you recommend any other pieces that you think would look really good in here. I'm actually thinking about changing back from my um, gray key holder back to the pink just because I've been carrying this bag so much. But um, that Safiano leather might not make it. So anyway, these are my keys. This is what fits in the bag. I would not stuff it any more than this. So with that being said, see you guys later. Have a good night and be blessed to be blessing. Girl Boss Beauties. Bye. Just a close up of how I have arranged everything inside the bag. Like I said, I just lift and I stack everything in. This is a bag where you have to be strategic about what you're carrying and about the placement if you wanna carry this much stuff. And I actually think I'm not leaving anything behind. Um, and I feel good, but like I said, I had to become a small leather goods person. Card cases, business card holder, credit card case, um, I didn't normally care. I thought I had to carry a, a wallet all the time. But this is where having these little um, purse organizers come in handy. And then this is the slip pocket for the phone. And then the phone that I'm recording on, I just kind of lay that right here and close her up. So... I am loving her. I am loving her. She's eye-catching. I had so many comments today um, in the store where people were loving on her and like, what brand is that? What bag is that? And uh, definitely she was worth the wait and worth the sacrifice and such a great little um, addition to my handbag collection. So after I carry her for about six months, I will give an update on how I'm loving her because by that time it will be summer and uh, I could definitely tell you there's no wear on the back, no discoloration. And yes, I am wearing jeans today, but these are old. So no discoloration. All right, guys, have a great day.